since January, Mayer made available the respective DeFi wallet. A DeFi wallet is an extension for Chrome or Brave. If you are used to MetaMask, if you have used MetaMask for Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Polygon, Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain or other blockchains that they can use it, then perhaps this selection is, uh, is easy for you. Uh, in here, with this extension, we will add it in our browser and you can create a new wallet or you can import another wallet. Perhaps if you, have, if you already have major wallet in your mobile, you can import your receipt phrase in here so you can have the same wallet in here. Everybody tells you that you should be careful your, with your seed phrase. You are the only person who should know the seed phrase. Nobody else should ask for your seed phrase. The only reason to use your seed phrase is where, when you set up a new wallet. You have used a seed phrase when you created your major wallet in your mobile. If you use this wallet, you should fill in again your seed phrase and this is it. You should forget about your seed phrase. Nobody should ask you for your seed phrase. But in order to be more sure, when you search for a new wallet, now I'm searching for major DeFi wallet, go to the original link, not just search in Chrome. Now I began from eldron.com, I went into blog and I found the respective article for the DeFi wallet. Here it is the link, I'm opening it. It drives me to uh, Chrome Web Store. Here you can see add to Brave. If you have Chrome, it's the same. It will say add to Chrome. I'm also checking uh, the users when I am downloading um, an application from Web Store because usually when you see a lot of users, this is probably the original, uh, the original extension. But in any case, I have used the correct links from here, from Elrond. I'm selecting Add to Brave. I'm adding it. It will appear in here. This is it. Let's also pin it. And we open it. You have two selections. Either you create a new wallet or you can import an existing one. If you already have another one, you have the seed phrase, you can select import. And here, uh, perhaps the first word is room. The second word can be garden. You should fill in uh, word by word. You cannot copy paste all the 24 words in here. You should do it word by word. And you click continue and this will load your wallet. This was with import. If you want to create a new wallet, you can see the seed phrase in here. Let's copy. Here is another example that I have done. I copied these words, paste. Okay, I confirm I have written down and safely stored my secret phrase. Continue. It will ask you for confirmation some words. Word 17, hospital, become, airport. Hospital become airport. This is it. Continue. You should also fill in a password. The password is, is only for this extension. If you use in another device your seed phrase, you should set another password. If you lose your password, it doesn't matter, it is not that important. The important thing is the seed phrase. The seed phrase is the one thing that you should not lose. If you lose your password, it doesn't matter. You just delete the wallet or delete the extension, reinstall it and fill in again your seed phrase. Okay, wallet created. Let's, let's do this in white color in order to be easier. Here you can see your EGLD. Uh, if you want your wallet, you select deposit, QR code and your wallet. You can copy and send it to a friend or whoever you want. If you want to send a token, you select in here. You can paste the wallet, ERT, and it goes on. If you have different tokens, in here you will see them. 
you can have max or other tokens you can see them in here you select the amount and you press continue in order to send them to the wallet that you want so in here in the main screen you can see your egld you can send tokens you can see your wallet where you can receive tokens and you can see your activity in the second screen you can see all all your esdt tokens now it is a new wallet so this is why you don't see anything the third selection is the nfts you can see your nfts and the last one uh, concerns some settings here it is the mainnet testnet devnet devnet in general you will be in mainnet the other one uh, you need it only when elrond announces battle of yields where uh, they ask for us to do some tests in the testnet or devnet so you do these selections you do the test and then you receive the token that they send here you can see uh, your wallet you can add more wallets you can have as many as you want again like the initial screen you can import if you want to import you should fill in the 24 words and continue if you want to create a new one you select create again 24 words copy save them somewhere safely and you will have a second wallet scam blocking is on by default so let's leave it as it is uh, about how after how many minutes it will auto lock and if you want to change password this is it if you want dark theme you select it from here and this is it we are ready your wallet is ready if you want to use major exchange for example you select connect if you already had in your mobile major you select this one now we have also added a defy wallet so let's also do a refresh because i think it needs a refresh in order to open it yes now it's okay i am already logged in so it shows me uh, my wallet if I had more wallets, you could see main, another one, another one, and you can select the wallet that you want to connect with. So now I only have main, I select this one, and this is it. You are connected. And uh, something for Mayer, if you are in Mayer, you can select here my account. And here you can see your address, balances, history, the history, what transactions you have done, balances, you can see all your tokens in here view in explorer it will take you to elrond explorer and you can also see here all your tokens and your transactions and disconnect let's also disconnect this is it easy and i think it's very useful thank you very much for watching